So that's the demo of our app here. So whenever I click on start, so you will see here, so the second is increasing four and uh, it's going too slow. Okay, so I'm going to make it fast. So I'm going to change the interval is something one. Okay, and let's see, uh, click on, so you can see whenever it's going to 50, 60, this will increase your value and whenever this one increase in the middle, it that's the minute here, this R will increase here, one. So you will see here, whenever is uh, this one is going to 59th and this will increase, okay, after 60. So you can pause this, click on this, you can see that's the, uh, timer is paused and whenever you click on start this will start again and whenever i'm going to click on reset this will going to reset zero zero i'm going to click on start again fine so hi guys this is Sorrow. in this video i'm going to show you how to create a timer so let's create this timer here so click on start new project timer new and click on ok so here i'm going to use one layout that is vertical arrangement like this and make it fill with fill parent and width is also fill parent like this and here we will use one horizontal and make this fill parent like this and go to the vertical vertical arrangement make it center and this one is also center now here we use three levels to display our minute and seconds okay so i'm going to use your label one two and three fine and i'm going to use your three button also one is for the start second for pause and third one is for reset fine now i'm going to design this so go to the vertical arrangement and make this orange background color and click on horizontal scrollment and background color i'm going to make it tell like this and make you can see label and I'm going to change this label color to white and the font size is something 20% 40 I'm going to make it and change this text to 0 like this and make it like for all label 2 make it 20 make it font size 40 change it to 0 and make it this one is also 0 and this one is also 40 so here i'm using two more label to for column like uh, i'm to use one and second one is like this so i'm going to use here the sign of our time like this fine and click on horizontal and you will see a center option align is also it's fine now i'm going to change this Fourth label, uh, I'm going to change label, go to the label one and make with this something 15% at least. And uh, for the label two, this one should also 15%. And make it label three is with this also 15%. Like this. And make it center, go to the horizontal, you will see the center. So, what the thing is not going well is okay actually we use here horizontal scroll arrangement that's the reason this one is not in center so i'm going to change it to scroll arrangement like here and make it with this fill parent and make it center top is also center and change this click on this one copy the color from here done and make this one as another one like paste it like this and drag and drop all content from horizontal scroll one to simple horizontal layout fine drag and drop this like this and make this and delete this one out this one okay that's great now click on zero again and make it color white like this text color is white and you can change this one color also to make it white and make it something at least 20 
and this one is also going to be 20 and I'm going to make it fold to second one also fine now that's the design I'm going to design the button also so first one is for a star so I'm going to make this color this text color is something black and background color is something green because all almost for the start we use here uh, the green color for its start you can see the signal also and I'm going to make it 20 and where is fill parent fine okay it's look great now click on again another one and make it pause and 20 font size and I'm going to change this background color is something pink and with this fill parent and change this text color to white and go to the last one and this one is reset button and with this fill parent and the background color is going to be red and font size is 20 and text color is going to be white fine now that's great now that's the design we have completed right now and okay it's the white color text color is going to be white fine now we will go to the block section now here we will code so whenever someone click on the first button so i'm going to change the button name also so make this button is a start btn second one is for pause btn and third one is for reset btn fine go to the block section whenever we click on the button one start button one like this so uh, go to the design section here we need to drag and drop one most important thing that one is timer so you will find this in sensor option and you will see clock drag and drop this this one is non visible component and make it time interval is uh, 1000 it means this one is one second if i'm going to make it 2000 it means this will uh, this alarm and this clock will fire in every two seconds so i'm going to make it 1000 it means one second now whenever start button dot click whenever someone click on start button so we will enable this timer set timer enable drag and drop this and make it true go to the design section click on clock and you will need you have to click on uncheck you have to uncheck this timer enable go to the block section okay so now timer is enabled now here we need one clock click on clock and whenever the clock timer here so what we will do we have to set the level one like you can see here that's the second year and that one is level three so level three value Set level three dot text. Set level three dot text two. So we will use it like here. Maths. You go to the match section and we will add one thing. This one drag and drop this. And here we need to one maths zero. Drag and drop this one. And we need one level three value. Fine. So what is the level three value for current level three dot text is zero and make it one so whenever timer is fired then level three dot text it means zero plus one equal to one and whenever timer is again fired it means after one second this will make your uh, time one to increase to two so one two three four right so this will increase in, uh, by time now we have to check this one is going to be our second is if our second is 59 then we have to set it to zero and increase the minute right so what we will do we have to check here condition so we will use here if else so go to the control block and drag and drop this if block here so we will check here one condition so we have to use this equal sign and we will check level 3 dot text if the level 3 dot text equal to 59 if this one is equal to 59 then Set, set label dot text to zero because right 
9 because this will not going to be 61 or 62 right so it this should be make we have to make it 0 right and then what we will do we have to increase the minute value right and minute going to be 1 right here so i'm going to make this copy and paste here and label to so uh, what the minute uh, label name click on minute that's the minute label 2 is minute so label 2 dot text so what will be tax delete this and here you need to copy paste this section label 2 label 2 is value is 0 right now so make this increase this one level 0 to 1 so make it here 1 fine now we have to check another one condition also for r so what we will do we use here one more uh, if else condition in this section so uh, in the down no it's going to be down fine so whenever we will just copy this here from here and whenever level 2 level 2 means this minute is going to equal to 59 then what we will do set level 2 value going to be 0 right minute going to be 0 because we have increase we have to increase r here 1 r and set so set level uh, 2 is 0 and increase the level 1 value right because that one is our r level 1 so we have to increase the value to 1 right and uh, we will increase it to this one like here now what we will do level 1 dot text right now we have to increase the value so we will change it to level 1 dot text plus 1 right great now that uh, that's all about it now we have to change the label button pause button we have to code for button pause whenever someone click on pause dot button so what we will do we have to set our alarm clock to false so i'm going to just copy and paste from here and make this true to false right and whenever someone click on button 3 it means button reset button so we will change every label's value to 0 so i'm going to copy and paste this label 3 dot text to 0 and copy paste again and make it 1 2 and 3 level 1 level 2 and that one is level 3 fine i'm going to run this app let's see how it's work so you can see here so first we need to here one do thing make this make here defense here so i'm going to use one label drag and drop this one label here and remove this text and make this height is something five percent okay so you will see the better design whenever I click on the start button you will see second is increased so i'm going to make it fast so i'm going to change the clock is going to be one this will fire in see that's the time and you can see so this will increase to one also so that's very simple app right so if you have any doubt you can ask me and comment thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask me and comment please subscribe my channel like my video share this video and be safe have a nice day bye bye